that this main event of day one went from this to this fatal five way and Brock Lesnar winning is pretty crazy. And I'm gonna introduce you to the first episode of WWE What If. So it's gonna be a lot of episodes and this is gonna be the first episode that I'm explaining the day one butterfly effect in which Brock Lesnar was supposed to be your new universal champion and Seth Rollins is gonna dethrone Big E. So shall we begin? Alright, let's look at the first match being Brock Lesnar dethroning the over 500 day reign that was finally going to end that people didn't want to be going on anymore. Roman Reigns was going to lose his Universal Championship to Brock Lesnar. It was going to end right there. Meanwhile, Seth Rollins was also supposed to dethrone Big E and these two, Lesnar and Rollins, were going to take these titles to WrestleMania 38. But in real time, Rollins had no matches and he fought Cody Rose after after returning to the WWE at WrestleMania 38. So, if Rollins was WWE champion, then what do we think was next for Cody Rhodes? And what about the winner of the Royal Rumble? Brock Lesnar, who, well, if Roman Reigns never got COVID, he would have not been in the Royal Rumble. Most likely, Roman would have been in the Rumble, but I don't think Roman would have won it. I actually have a different prediction for someone to win the Rumble. And I'll talk about that in a bit. But Lesnar won a main event at WrestleMania or became WWE Champion if he was Universal Champion. Since these two are the champions at this time because of the day one butterfly effect, what would WrestleMania 38 look like for these two? And like I said before, who's going to win the Royal Rumble? The last person to be thrown out of the Rumble, the last two, was Drew McIntyre and Brock Lesnar. Former rivals during the pandemic era, which was only two years ago from that. Drew McIntyre was eliminated. Brock Lesnar is going to WrestleMania. The fans were not happy about this. Because earlier that night, uh, Lesnar lost his WWE Championship due to a Roman Reigns interference to Bobby Lashley. And uh, then he came in number 30, won the Rumble. But I have a separate prediction for this Rumble, and I'll tell you that right now. I think Drew McIntyre, coming in number 21, should have won this Royal Rumble and went to WrestleMania 38, main eventing possibly possibly Saturday or Sunday against Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. Seth Rollins, we still have to talk about him, he's our WWE Champion at this time. And I had just noticed while I was editing this video that there would have been no undisputed Universal Champion, and who would have Cody Rhodes dethroned at WrestleMania 40? He would have not fought Roman Reigns two years in a row. What do you think was next for Roman Reigns? But before we talk about Seth, why don't we talk about his opponent in real time for WrestleMania 38, Cody Rhodes. He returned and put Rollins in the ring. Rollins is smirking as Cody Rhodes returned to fight him and defeating Seth Rollins, but because Seth is champion, I don't think they would have Cody Rhodes come in and beat Seth for the titles for his match back. So why don't, why don't we uh, see who Cody Rhodes would fight? Because I do have a prediction and a little bit of a build-up to the match, even though Cody Rhodes wasn't here until WrestleMania 38. Let's talk about it right now. Kevin Owens and Stone Cold. So Kevin Owens had the KO show, and he invited Stone Cold on because he's in Dallas, Texas. Okay, and then they wound up getting into a match, but it's an old Stone Cold. I don't know, maybe he could just make an appearance as the host of WrestleMania 38. Which I think what we could do is, there could be a build-up. The KO show, Kevin Owens, goes on Raw before WrestleMania 38. It says, I'm going to be doing a KO show in the main event of WrestleMania Saturday. And I've called an old friend that used to be in the WWE. Oh, he doesn't even have to say. Okay, sorry, the recording cut off, but uh, 
what I was saying was he doesn't have to say that he used to be in WWE. He could say he just invited an old friend to be on the KO show. And people are speculating it's going to be Stone Cold. But then Stone Cold comes out in the beginning of WrestleMania and says he's the host. So people are like, well, if we already know Stone Cold's here, then it's not going to be a surprise. So we get to WrestleMania 38. We're here at WrestleMania 38, the main event is Saturday. Kevin Owens is waiting in the ring. People are just chanting, who is it? Who is it? And then you hear Cody Rhodes comes out and the crowd goes berserk. And he hits the wall, even though people didn't know the wall at the time. But there you go. It happens and they go on the KO show. And then they wind up getting into a match, and Cody Rhodes defeats Kevin Owens. There you go. Let's get back on the topic of our WWE champion who dethroned Big E at day one, Seth Rollins. He's still looking for a match, am I right? We haven't did him. We haven't done him yet. We did oh, the Rumble. We did Brock Lesnar. who's fighting Drew McIntyre. Main event is Sunday. We did. We we seen what Cody who Cody Rhodes would be fighting. On the main event of Saturday, but Seth Rollins, he's our WWE champion, and we know in real time he could not find a rivalry. So uh, now let's uh, let's see who I think would be fighting him. And there's one man we we haven't talked about since he lost his Universal Title to Brock, Roman Reigns. I think it'd be an awesome event to see the two Shield brothers go at it in the main. Of, it more than that, be the main event. I think the main event is Sunday would be the Royal Rumble. Something like the match right before. It could be on Saturday, it could be on Sunday, whatever. But I think Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins would be awesome. And, well, I don't really know who would win that match. You could say, you can tell me in the comments, but I think that'd be an awesome WrestleMania 38 match for Rollins since he's World WWE Champion. And Roman versus, I think that'd be a match people would want to see since Roman, well, we didn't put him. Since he lost his universal title to Brock, we will have him on the card. So, I think this is a good idea for Rollins. Thank you for watching the first episode of WWE What If. And I think, no, I'm sure I'll be seeing you guys for episode two. See ya.